Let's go. It's the evening. Oh, evening. I'm here. Doing a, oh, I'm here in the north of the island. Once again by St. Lucy Parish Church. Once again, starting from by the Theodore Banker on the boat. So again, I'm in the northernmost parish of St. Lucy in Barbados. And I will take you guys around the church, St. Lucy Parish Church. This is St. Lucy Parish Church here. I'll get to that shortly. Yes, guys. So this is the only female parish in Barbados. Named after female patron saint, Saint Lucy of Syracuse. And this is the Theodore Banker on the boat. He's right here in the parish of Saint Lucy. So this road here will lead you back to Checker Hall where the Charles Duncan O'Neill Highway and it will lead you back to St. Luke, St. Peter and back to the Arawak cement plant which is also in St. Luke. This road here behind the road about here will lead you back to the parish up will lead you back to St. Simons and back to Spike Stone as well. And back to um, Bentons and so on. You can see the ruins for the former Fairfields Sugar Factory. As well. I will let the head to St. Lucy Parish Church shortly. The churchyard. And this road here will lead you back to the Wanamap Highway, which is also referred to as Highway 2A. It will lead you back to the parish of St. Peter as well, with mile and a quarter. And it will lead you back to St. James, St. Thomas, and further east, and into St. Andrew, and so on. to lead you back to Allendale and back to the highway to where known as the Map Highway. So this is St. Lucy Parish Church, right here. This is an Anglican Episcopal Church. It was built in 16, it was originated in 1629, but it was destroyed by fire in 1710. And so on. It was it, it, it went through it was it, um went through several hurricanes and fires, but this church here, the, this present church was built in 1837, and it looks similar to St. Peter's Parish Church, which is just in the neighboring parish here in Saint, of St. Peter. St. Lucy and St. Peter are the only two neighboring parishes. The only parish that neighbors that borders St. Lucy is St. Peter and a mural graphic on the church wall depicting things in St. Lucy
So we are also nearby to the oldest rum distillery in Barbados, which is the Mount Gear Rum Distillery. Yeah, yeah. We are in close proximity to the oldest rum distillery, which is known as the Mount Gear Rum Distillery. And here is the mural graphic on the church wall. Here, the painting. Let's go to St. Lucy's Parish Church here, which is an Anglican Episcopal Church here in Barbados. So this is another rural parish as well, the parish of St. Lucy. Before I go in the churchyard, I will walk We'll head into the church, the church's parish center. Which is named after former parish priest William Donald George. This is the church parish center, officially opened on the 4th of February 2018 by the Most Reverend and Dr. John W. D. Holder, Bishop of Barbados and Archbishop of the West Indies during the incumbency of the Reverend Canon Curtis Goodrich, Rector. So this is the power center here named after William Donald George who was the priest here from 1972 to 1982. Robert Curtis Goodwin was the longest serving priest of St. Lucy's Parish Church. He was the Reverend here from 1985 to present. So that would mean that he was making 30 something years as priest here. He's also a relative of mine. Let's get on to the northernmost parish here in Barbados, which people will want to refer to as far or behind God back. So this is St. Lucy's Flowers Church here in the north of the island. This is the church cemetery here. So most people from the, the parish of St. Lucy, most people from this parish bear these surnames, graves, rock, Canterbury, Johnson, Boyce, and um, also um, you also have people with the last names. Um, and then another last name too, Griffith, right? Most of those people are from the parish of Saint Lu the parishes of Saint Lucy and Saint Peter. Scanterbury, Rock, Griffith, Johnson, Boyce, and Graves. Those are names from the north of the island. The two northernmost parishes, Saint Lucy and Saint Peter. Yes, guys, this is St. Lucy's Parish Church, which is an Anglican Episcopal Church. And also they have Greenwiches in St. Lucy as well. So this is the church cemetery here. The boy's grave. And they got Heinz in St. Lucy as well. Heinz is another popular last name in St. Lucy. This 
or the cemetery at St. Lucy's Parish Church. And this is the um this is a a monument commemorating the site of the Paris School before it merged of Coleridge and Paris School in nineteen fifty two. It was named after two bishops, Bishop Thomas Parry and Bishop William Hart Coleridge, the two Anglican bishops of Barbados. There were two separate schools, there was the Paris School and there was the Coleridge School until 1952 when the two joined together and formed one school in Ashton Hall, St. Peter. So these were the former headmasters at the Paris School before it merged with Coleridge School to form the Coleridge and Paris Secondary School. By the way, the Coleridge and Paris School is now one of the top secondary schools in Barbados. These are the list of the headmasters who served the college, who served the Paris school. The monument here. Yes, it's all St. Lucy's Church here. And as I said before, we are in close proximity to the oldest rum refinery in the world and in the Caribbean, Mount Gear, which was established in 1703. So this is St. Lucy's Parish Church now, again. for the old Fairfield plantation and sugar factory over here. So this will be a little further up in St. Lucie. You could take you back to um, Perry Corner. We'll take you back to the St. Lucie Secondary School, which is now the Dower Jordan Secondary School. We'll take you back to um, Trent, Point Corner. We'll take you back to um, River Bay, which is, the, which is further up to the top of St. Lucie. River Bay is in St. Lucie, and the Animal Flower Cave and so on can be accessed this way. And the ruins for the old Fear of Free Sugar Factory and Plantation. Let's go to St. Lucy's Parish Church here. A full view of the church now from the back. Looking at the eastern end of the church. And as you can see, St. Lucy's Parish Church is less George, less Gothic and more Georgian. St. Lucy's Parish Church is less George, less Gothic. I'm more Georgian. And this way to lead you to 
Jersey Hill, via Fairfield. By the way, our first Prime Minister, and father of independence, and also national hero, the very excellent Earl Walton Barrow, was born and raised in Fairfield, St. Lucie, which is just up to here, before he moved to Culloden Farm and other places. And this is, this is the road to lead back to the rum distillery, the oldest rum distillery. All the St. Lucie's churchyard. And this is St. Lucie Parish Church here. So thank you guys for watching now and have a blessed evening.